Hey everybody, this is Connie with Connie's Crafty Corner. Um, I, this is really just going to be a chatty video because I want to let you guys know about everything that's go been going on since my last video when I told you all the things I had to get done before Rowan's birthday party and my visit to North Carolina, which I actually did yesterday. Um, I, you know, I told you guys last week I was going to make the cupcakes. I was going to make the smash cake that Rowan would have. I had to make his one-year-old picture outfit. And I had to bind two quilts for um, my uncle and my grandson. As you can see, the grandson one didn't get finished, but that's okay. That can be for Christmas. And I, I let go of that early in the whole process because I knew I wasn't going to have time. But... Uh, let me recap a little bit. I've, I've already said that one time, but let me, I'm so bad at telling stories, y'all. This is hysterical. I've tried to film this thing and I keep tripping up over my words. So please just bear with me. Okay. First of all, I got the cupcakes done. I made a pumpkin spice with cream cheese frosting. I made a chocolate with cream cheese frosting. I made vanilla with a chocolate cream cheese frosting. Um, some, I think I may have put chocolate on some of the chocolate cupcakes. I can't remember. It was all a blur. Um, I did all those on Friday. Um, and I worked up until probably about five or six o'clock. And then I literally just collapsed in my chair for the rest of the evening and didn't do anything else. Um, you know, I did, and that's, I just told you guys a lie. I did do some sewing um, Friday night. But, <clears throat> okay, I got his outfit done. And just to let you guys know, I'm not going to pop up pictures. I'm going to put everything at the end of the video uh, because it's just easier that way. And I'll tell you why in just a little bit. I just don't have time to do it with the little pop-ups and stuff. Um, I got his little outfit done and it was so cute. It was a little red, like a featherweight corduroy, like a little, you'll see the picture, but it's got like the little bib overalls and they crisscross in the back and it's just got the little bubble shorts attached to the bottom and I put on it, it's fun to be one. I think that was the embroidery design. And then I decided in the process of all this, and I cut all this out on Thursday and finished it on Friday. Um, that's why I got so late, such a late start on my cupcakes. I don't think I started the cupcakes till about 2.30 or three, but I got, um, I made him a, a sweatshirt um, that said one durful. It said one and then they're full under it. So it's wonderful, but you know how, you know what I'm saying? It looks like it's one instead of the, oh, anyway, y'all see the pictures. So, anyway, and I made my little pair of blue jeans with little pockets and stuff. And I forgot to take pictures of all this. So the pictures you see are what my daughter graciously took and sent to me yesterday. So that's why I'm just now getting this video done. That's not really the truth. I had to go to North Carolina yesterday and uh, I didn't have to, I wanted to. I wanted to go see my mom. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, I got the, the two outfits finished. I got um, all the cupcakes done and I got my uncle's quilt binded, bound, binded. Um, and everything turned out wonderful. I mean, I probably could have done a little neater sewing job. I probably, you know, all that, but it still got done and it was great. Um, Saturday we got up. It's a three hour and 15 minute drive to Cookville from where I live. And it took us almost five hours. There was a wreck, there was traffic. It was just awful, but we got there in plenty of time. Uh, we got to my daughter's house <clears throat> and they weren't there. They were at uh, uh, Rowan's great grandpa's where they actually got married, but that's where they were gonna have the party. They were there doing some decorating. <clears throat> and I was gonna frost the cupcakes when I got to Sarah's house. So I'm sitting there relaxed and thinking I got all the time in the world. And she calls me, she says, mom, you've got to leave now. You got to go help Garrett finish decorating because it's just still, everything's all messed up and he's not done this and that the way I want him to. And I want you to fix it. And I said, well, I'm in the process of frosting the cupcakes because I had just got up to start frosting the cupcakes. And when I frost cupcakes, I like to squeeze it out of a, like a pastry bag with one of the little tips on it that makes it kind of swirled looking. Well, my bag exploded. I, I had to use Ziploc bags, which I've done in the past and it worked great, but oh my goodness, if it went could go wrong, it went wrong frosting these cupcakes. So I ended up just taking the little tip out and I just squirted it with a Ziploc bag. And then I got a little, my, a little knife or something, I don't remember, and kind of 
swirled it down because it was coming out in this big blot. It was just, it was a mess, but it ended up looking really cute. Um, they, let's see, so I got all that done and I got his cake, Rowan's cake frosted. And then we got to the party, got everything set up and it went beautifully. I mean, Ro was, Rowan was in a great mood. He didn't cry. He opened all his presents. He ate his cake. And I do have video to show you that at the end of this one. Um, it was just a great day. So all that hard work was well worth it. And I told Sarah, it was like dealing with your wedding. That is how much stress we, we all felt under. And I said, it was just a one-year-old birthday party. I said, I don't remember being it, it being that bad when y'all had a birthday party. Um, but anyway, it went great. And we had a wonderful weekend. We actually just stayed for the day. Uh, because they had been down the weekend before and I knew I had an upcoming trip to North Carolina and I had things I had to get done for that. So, um, but anyway, we got the quilt done. We got all that. I got everything done that I had to do before Rowan's party. And why I put the quilt on me before Rowan's party, my uncle's quilt, I don't know. That was ridiculous. But um, I, in the meantime, between all this, I decided that my sister, Melissa, she's my middle sister, um, she doesn't have a husband or children, and my mom's always been the one to do for her on her birthday. So I thought, you know, I was really wanting to make some strawberry cream cheese frosting to put on the chocolate cupcakes, but my daughter wouldn't let me because it's pink, and she thought that wouldn't match the theme, and he's a boy, and all that stuff. So I thought, I'll make her a cake with that frosting. Well, I ended up just making it a buttercream frosting because I had to travel with it, and I didn't want it to be out of the refrigerator for too long and all that stuff, but... I made my sister a cake and took it to her and got her a little gift. And I took that to North Carolina yesterday uh, when I went to visit mom and it, it was thrilled her soul and it made me so happy to do it. I, I, I know that mama would have wanted that done for her because she always made sure Melissa had a birthday cake and always had, made sure she had a gift to open. So that, that was a great experience and a huge surprise for her. And that's when I actually gave my uncle his quilt. And it, it, it was just, amazing to see his eyes because as soon as he took it out of the package he knew exactly what it was it was actually the last quilt my aunt ever pieced and my uncle had cut out every square for her and as soon as he saw it he choked up it, it was just amazing experience and it was well worth the effort to do it um it, it was it was just great i um anyway i'm gonna get emotional if i talk too much about it but I got a little clip of that. I didn't video, and I may have already said this because I filmed this video two or three times. I didn't take a long video of him because I felt like I was being invasive on this time. It was a personal moment for him and I didn't want to be too much, you know. So, but anyway, I had a real nice visit with my mom and my two sisters and my uncle and I got to see my, I call her my niece, Jenna, but she's actually my first cousin's daughter, but we grew up like sisters. We were really close growing up. And her new baby, who's Rowan's age, he was actually born on my birthday and his name is Rollins. Uh, so I got to visit with all those people yesterday and um, I got home last night. I did, I did hit some rain and a little bit of traffic, but I did okay. <laughs> but um, it was a really busy weekend. But the reason that everything's so busy today, my wonderful husband decided to bring home this milk crate full of pears. So they had given him to work. He walks in, proudly sets it down and says, why don't you can these or something? You know, there's so many of them, they'll go bad. And I thought, oh Lord, I don't even love pears. It's a textural thing. About the only time I eat pears is when they come out of a can and you make that little pear salad with the mayonnaise and the cheese and all that stuff. It's a Southern thing. I don't know if everybody knows about it. And it may not be just a Southern thing. I don't know, but I just know about it from my childhood. And I love those. I hadn't had one of those in so long, but, um, I got up this morning and I thought, okay, I'll quickly throw these in the canner, you know, get them peeled, get them processed, whatever. Now, I have never done pears before, and there's like 5,000 different methods to do them, but I ended up doing the hot, hot, I don't know, hot method where you have to cook them for a few minutes and then you put them in the jar. I have no idea what all that lingo is because I'm fairly new to canning. I've canned a little bit over the years, but not a whole lot. Uh, I just now noticed, I, if y'all notice my hand, I've got, this is stained from peeling peach, uh, peaches, pears, and carrots. I don't know which one stained my hand because I, I think it's the pears because I put a pot roast in the 
crock pot this morning because I knew I wasn't going to feel like cooking this afternoon. But I got, I, that's what I'm working on today. And I've got some processing right now while I'm filming this video. And then I've got to run down there and put some more in because I'm, I've got five processing now. And I've probably got at least five more to go of quart jars. I mean, they're, I should have put them in smaller jars, but Lord, I've been canning till next week. So <laughs> I, I, there's no way. But anyway, um, I hope you guys stick around and see the little videos and the clips and everything that I'm going to put at the end because I'm really proud of what I got done and what I got accomplished and how well the birthday party went and everything. It, it was just a great experience. But um, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video and uh, hopefully I have something to physically show you, but I gave away everything I did this past week. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. I bet you guys are surprised to see me back. I just realized I was watching my video back, which I do all the time because I usually say something dumb and have to refilm it. But um, I was telling y'all that Sarah called me and, I, and telling me I needed to hurry and get back over there to help decorate. She, I just want to let you guys know she wasn't being crazy. She was stressing because she was having to come all the way back to her house, which is like a 20, 25 minute drive to get Rowan dressed and get out everything because she didn't realize she was going to be out there as long as she was. And uh, so that's the reason she needed me to hurry up, me and my husband, Jeff, to hurry up and get out there, or her daddy, Jeff, I don't know what I'm saying, uh, to get out there and um, help finish decorating and stuff. So I just don't want y'all to think that she was just being crazy or selfish or hateful or whatever. But, you know, I can understand she had a legitimate reason because she was trying to hurry up and... Um, get out there and get, y'all, I am just crazy. I cannot play, tell a story. My Today, my mind is going so much faster than my mouth. It is so funny. She just needed to hurry up and get back so she could get Rowan ready so she could get to the party on time. So it was a time thing because we were kind of in a crunch. Um, and also, I was telling y'all that I think my finger was stained because I made a pot roast. No, it wasn't because of the pot roast. It was the carrots I was Peeling. I couldn't decide if it was the carrots or the pears that stained my finger, but I honestly think it was the pears, even though they're not orange, but you know how things will stain? It's kind of a brownish orange, but I don't, I've never had a carrot stain me like that, and I didn't peel that many, so it has to be the pears. But anyway, I didn't feel like filming the whole video over, so I thought I'd pop on and give y'all the explanation. So now the clips and the little videos or clips and pictures or whatever you want to call it will follow. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. to be done it's only just begun got all the time that we need the best of everything got all the time that we need the best of you and me we are on time
you can, that just made me so happy. When I realized I had that, because I had all that stuff packed up and I was going through it, when I realized I had that, I said, that's what's Papa's getting for his birthday. Oh, thank you.